I don't think I fully explained to the general public what it was. Seems so sad, but cause it was, you see, shows, if they're on a network, must be paid for. And so there are corporations, and if you do something, let's say, a little too liberal, you will get criticism from conservatives, and the opposite is true. Well, Steve himself never, I don't believe in any show, expressed his opinion, his feeling, other than to say, well, that's very interesting, Your Majesty, and now Dr. Marx, what do you know? What he did was to take right out of the mouths of these people, from history books, from whatever research material he could find, what they said, what Socrates said, what Plato said, what uh, Attila the Hun said, as well as Emily Dickinson. And then he would have, like with Marie Antoinette, he would have Karl Marx and the clash of thoughts. It wasn't just the sponsors. It would be the people who bring the power by the pocketbook. Let's say they were to refuse to buy, let's say it was Coca-Cola. And they would say, oh, that liberal, that left-wing show, because Karl Marx had said something. It wasn't Steve Allen that said it. It was Karl Marx. And so, as even though big corporations financed us in the beginning, we had some... Oh, and Milton Friedman said it was the greatest show ever on television. Not one of them. The greatest. And the uh, Will Durants, you know, the great historians, they not only adored the show, but they asked Steve to produce their books, their historical books. That's how much they admired his work. But what happened was the power, the, the pressure brought on these big corporations by <laughs> small groups of people, but that's all that it takes to terrify them. And they would, little by little, withdraw the sponsorship until it was very difficult to get a sponsor, except for PBS, which backed us. Uh, but they couldn't do it forever. They rely on the general public, you see. And so the, it just came to an end. A show that in the beginning absolutely stunned the country. And we received um, uh, awards from three very large Catholic um, colleges. We went there to receive the awards. One college we went to, I can't remember which one it was, the nuns and priests wrote their own meeting of minds and performed it for us. Now that really should tell you something. And did it very well. Oh, my dear. I think he won two or three. I know that he has won three Peabody's, and that's the highest award you can get. It's nice to get an Emmy or whatever. But he won every single award there is to win in America. There's not a single thing that is possible to win that he didn't win. Emmys, we all won Emmys. We all got everything. It was marvelous.